Okay, what's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Sharita B. Um, I'm coming to you today with kind of like a vlog about um, pretty much my hair journey. I was thinking about it because um, I noticed <clears throat> the Black Appreciation Day um, has been set and people um, have been talking about it like some of my close um, YouTube friends and stuff like that so it kind of inspired me to share with you guys why I decided to lock my hair and what really really made me go on a natural journey and pretty much like my history with hair in general now I am coming to you without makeup I rarely <laughs> try I really try to always do my makeup but this morning my son is sick and um yeah it's a lot of things going on but while he was taking a nap I wanted to take the time to go ahead and make a video while I cut. I'm um, gonna go ahead and put some lip gloss on or something. <laughs> Maybe that'll make me look a little better. And this is also a great opportunity mm. For you guys to see uh, how I look without makeup, um, you see the things I have to cover. Like I have to cover my dark circles. That's something I always have to cover. <laughs> I've been having them since a little girl. I remember one of my ex-boyfriends used to call me um, raccoon eyes, and I really never realized why he used to call me that. But now I <laughs> I realize why he called me that. Anyways, if you want to know, I just put on raspberry. It's, you know, a delicious lip lipstick by F. Now, let me show you the length of my hair. My hair is almost four years old. In May of this year, my locks will be four years. So. So the length of my locks is pretty much like to my back um, bra strap in the back and it touched like the top of my breast. If I have a good bra on, but today is just a comfy bra. Um, if I had a really push up bra, yeah my locks will sit right on my breast. Okay. Um, and yes, they are three years and like, what, what month is it? February. Oh, so three years, like nine months old. They will be four years in May. Now, um, when I was a little girl, I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. And in Nashville, Tennessee, it was pretty much very uncommon for um, females to rock their hair in any natural hairstyle. I mean, locks anything that was unprocessed or against the norm people really just did not do and I remember my senior year in high school was it senior junior anyways during high school I met um, this lady named Miss Perkins she was the secretary at my school and she wore her hair in locks and my mom used to be like, oh, why does she wear her hair that way? And I remember everybody had something to say about her hair. And one day, when somebody said, oh, you have dreads or something. She said, baby, they're not dreads. You know, that's what the white people call them. Because they used to say they were dreadful to look at or something like that. So she used to always correct people and put them in their place. So even to today, I would, you would never hear me call my locks dreads. That's just, mm-mm. Because, you know, I feel like my hair is beautiful and it's not dreadful in any way. Um, also, let me make sure we're recording. Yeah, okay. Um, so let me go ahead and continue the story. So, I wore my hair permed. My hair was, um, I guess like here. It was a little shorter than my locks, but pretty much past the shoulders, shoulder length. Like a neck lip. I could wrap and make it look really nice and full and I had nice healthy hair but it was always kind of thin um 
I would do the wild hairstyles and everything like that in high school and I loved it until I moved to Maryland that's where I went to school <laughs> um, the University of Maryland when I went to Maryland I met my best friend ever um, my best friend ever her name is De uh, Deanna and I was walking past her room going to my room and I saw this girl with this big orange fro it was like an orange red color and I was like oh I love your hair you know and then I really just didn't understand much about her hair um, but then um the more that I was in Maryland I got to learn more about myself as an African-American woman I got to learn more about my hair and I remember it was my sophomore year um I when I decided to make the big chop okay it was a very very serious ordeal because my mom was like you did what my mom honestly did not speak to me for months after i cut my hair she was like oh your beautiful hair da 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 and i'm just like it's hair whatever but at first it was very hard for me because the night that i got it all chopped off because first i let my friend cut the perm off and then I was scared to let her cut it all off, so I went to a shop and let the lady <laughs> cut the rest off. Um, but yeah, so then after that, I went out that night, and like usually I used to get mad play with the guys, and then it was this one guy who made my night. He came up to me, he was like, "Baby, you look so beautiful with your hair," and I was like, "Oh, thank you." That that really made me feel. So much better because when your hair natural, you have to realize that most guys today they're not feeling the natural look. So um, it and it was like a baby fro. I mean, one of the <laughs> one of the miniature fros. But yeah, so um, after that, um, I continued to rock my hair in different afro styles. I used to love my afro. I mean, I loved my hair. But then my fro got about this long and it didn't want to grow anymore. <laughs> it hit it hit like a halt. Um I don't understand. I didn't I really don't know what was going on. But I can tell you that my hair was fuller when it was in the afro. It was also um thicker. It was very healthy. I never had issues with it. But then, as some of you guys know, um, in 2007, I had my son, and, um, yeah, I couldn't really twist my hair at night or braid it, because I used to braid it every night before I went to sleep, so that when I wake up, it'll be easier to comb out and have a nice fluffy fro. Well, I would sleep on my fro, and then it'd be matted to my head, and I'd be like, oh, you know, like... It was a little too much so i was like you know what i need something with a little less maintenance so that's the reason why i decided to lock now i always wanted to be natural and my term of natural is different from your term of natural like when i lived in tennessee um prior to chopping my hair off natural was just if you didn't rock weave okay but now that i'm older and wiser natural to me means no hair color no chemicals whatsoever in your hair okay so that means no perms no color whatever i'm not knocking whoever decides to color the hair do whatever do you but i know for me i don't need those chemicals in my body i don't need it a, a part of my existence i just need to be me okay and this is me right now and i honestly i love my locks um they have just sprouted like they grow super duper fast and if you're um if you have any questions about locking hair or um anything like that just let me know i'm pretty sure the story can be longer probably left out a couple things but i just wanted you guys to get the overview or i mean of my hair journey why i decided to lock was mostly because uh, my fro it having the afro it was just as much maintenance as if i had a perm almost and i'm not saying that locks are not like 
I grease my scab probably once or twice a week and I wrap it up. Well, I'm wrapping it up more often. But <laughs> I can actually wake up and get ready in no time and be out the door without rocking a ponytail. And honestly, I think it's it's just for me. And then oh, excuse me. I cannot wait until my locks are longer. Cause like right now, even if I put in the ponytail, I still have strays and it's hard to control the strays to get a straight bun or something like that. But anyways, that's me. Thank you for watching. Thank thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support and I love you guys. And thank you for all my new and old subscribers. Let me check out the lint one more time. This is the lint in my hair. Hope you can see everything. This is my belly. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyways, um, have a great day. Bye.